Pancakes Vegan Snack Foods. I'm here at Perennial Accents in St. Joe, Michigan, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make vegan Alfredo sauce. Bet you never thought that was possible, did you? Thankfully, I discovered how to use raw cashews not too long ago, so I've come up with all kinds of creamy and delicious sauces that can be made with the amazing, rich, delicious cashews. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with one cup of raw cashews, and I just covered these in water. So you don't really have to measure the water, you just need to cover them, and they need to soak for at least 30 minutes. So we're just gonna pour cashews and the water into a food processor. The next thing we're gonna add is six cloves garlic, and this is just minced garlic. We're gonna add two teaspoons of canola oil. You can use olive oil as well if you wanna add a little bit more flavor. I use canola oil a lot in cooking. We're also going to put in a fourth cup plus one tablespoon nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast contains vitamin B12, which is really important for vegetarians. It's the only uh, essential vitamin that you can't get from a plant source, so it's important that you supplement your diet with that if you're eating a vegetarian diet. Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of lemon juice. It's a good thing to keep around. I put it in smoothies and all kinds of things. It's gonna be really nice in this Alfredo sauce. And then we've got our spices. This is one and a half teaspoons sea salt. It's a half a teaspoon parsley, one tablespoon dried onion. I think there's a little oregano in here too. <laughs> dry mustard, that's the other key to this, is uh, some dry mustard. And then we're gonna put just a little bit of black pepper to taste. You can add more if you want. And then we've got coconut milk. This is one cup. We're gonna eventually add the whole cup, but I'm gonna start with just a fourth cup. We're gonna save the rest of it for when we're heating the sauce. I actually poured in about a half a cup, but it'll be fine. <laughs> so we're gonna put uh, our lid on our food processor and turn it on. I'm just gonna kind of scrape the sides a little bit just to make sure that everything is um, getting mixed together. <clears throat> so it looks like the cashews are starting to um, become more of a sauce, but they're still kind of chunky, so I'm gonna turn this on a little bit longer. Okay, that's pretty, much, that's pretty much it. We're going to very slowly heat this now, and as we heat it up, we're gonna gradually add more milk. So I'm just gonna turn this on. We're gonna start at medium. So the sauce is on medium-high. We're just gonna gradually heat this up as it starts to Heat up, I'm gonna just pour more milk into it, more coconut milk. You have to stir this quite a bit because as, as it heats up and it starts to get to where it's like boiling and stuff, it gets thick really fast and it also sticks to the pan really fast. So as soon as it's ready, we're, as soon as it's warm and hot and we have all of the milk that we need in it, we're gonna right away, you wanna really use it right away because it gets really thick. And if you put it in the refrigerator overnight, the next day it will be thick. So you, have, you wanna stir this pretty much constantly while you're making it. So as I mentioned before, so it does not stick to the bottom of the pan, the saucepan. And there's the rest of the coconut milk. You wanna use your discretion depending on what you're using this for. If uh, you want it really thick, then let it cook longer. But I think that it's pretty much done, especially if you want to do with fettuccine. This is about how you'd want it. So thanks so much for watching. That's vegan Alfredo sauce.